My name is Linda Blom. I'm the director of the Reachu Play Therapy Training Center in uh, Bloemfontein, South Africa. Today, um, I'm sitting here in my playroom and I want to talk a little bit about how to intervene in a child's play if there is post-traumatic repetitive play. Now, what is that? Now, post-traumatic repetitive play means that the child over and over plays out the tra trauma themes without any resolution. In other words, um, the child is stuck in repetitive post-traumatic play and that can be anything from um, scenes of abuse and violence that's playing out maybe in a dollhouse. A child can play out that there's extreme violence, uh, maybe a person that's getting drunk and um, you know, while they're getting drunk, eating all the others, and maybe the child might play out uh, how the children is hiding from the, the drunk, maybe dad in this case. Um, and the child plays us out every week without any change. Now, when we talk about post-traumatic repetitive play, repetitive post-traumatic play, it is important to realize that it's not, you cannot say um, after about two uh, sessions, four sessions, the child, this play is stuck. There is no, um, the play is not dynamic. In other words, the play is stagnant. Now, in order for the play to be stagnant, at least what we want to see is the child, um, the play is, it's, it's uh, very literal, very joyless. Um, uh, the child pick the same toys every week. For example, if the child plays with, uh, maybe uh, the child, take a bird and a, a nest with the little baby birds and put the birds in a cage and then bring a lot of um, nasty characters that attacks the baby birds. Now maybe the child would play out the mom, mother bird is gone or she's dead or she's killed by the werewolf and um, uh, the baby birds are all on their own and then all these dangerous characters come and they attack and the baby birds are extremely frightened and in danger. So let's say the child uh, literally plays this out each and every week to, to um, distinguish if the play is dynamic or if the play is stagnant. We would specifically look at uh, things like do the child only use the same type of toys? Do the child uh, play in the same little corner? So the child will not move around in the playroom, but just spend time in a, a tiny little corner in the playroom. The other thing that, that um, you can see is sometimes even the child will play with his or her back towards you, um, very uh, involved in the play. But what you will see, what will come out is themes of trauma and violence and um, you know, extreme terror without any resolution. So it would also be literally the case where every week the bad guys are winning or every week the baby is in extreme distress or every week the children are left home alone with other parents without food. Um, maybe I'm, I'm thinking about a case where the child would put a little tiny baby in a house and around the house, uh, a lion is walking around the house and the lion is, uh, uh, you know, the baby has no one to, uh, the baby is abandoned. The baby has no one to take care as well as there is this extreme frightening um, lion around the house so the baby can also not leave. So, um, when we see this this kind of play you now this uh, and this can be in whatever way the child plays out the trauma so it can be literal scenes of violence that takes place in a dollhouse it can be uh, it can take place in the sandbox where there's maybe a battle between the good guys and the bad guys and the bad guys always win and everyone is is, is bad you know like maybe uh, one child played out that i was the good guy and he is the bad guy and everything he touched also turned into bad guys and um, the bad guys was just extremely overwhelming. So um, that would be the kind of play that we look at. So whatever way the child pick, it can be with puppets, it can be with clay, it can be, it's often a frequently interactive play with the sand miniatures, either in the sandbox or not in the sandbox or halfway in the sandbox and outside of the sandbox. So the child might play out the same interactive play in the sand scene with the same toys or outside around the sandbox. 
or um, the child might play it out in the dollhouse hospital or in the um, in the dollhouse. And but what you see in when it's stuck and stagnant is that it doesn't change. And we're talking about about uh, four uh, about twelve to sixteen sessions. There is not a slightest notion of change in the child's play. There's no resolution. The child picks the same toys. It always ends in the same way where there's uh, normally the bad guys would win. Um, and then the, there's no emotional release. No, so that, uh, there's no catharsis. The child stays stressed up and there's no help. And it's clearly to observe that um, the child doesn't have, the psyche of the child doesn't have the ego strength to, to, to um, get out of this, the stuckness of the play. Now, the child is, the trauma is literally stored in the self-care system in the child. 